Okay guys, what is going on? And uh, yeah, welcome to Blocks of WordPress episode 3. I think it's been literally about 4 years since the last one. Uh, but I asked on Twitter today, 4 favourites, and I'll upload it at 6pm GMT, which, looking at my watch, well actually it's 9.40am that day. Uh, but yeah, by the time this is released, it'll be 6pm and all that stuff. So, in, so on the right, I'll explain what we've got here first. So what you want to do first do is launch map. You guys know how to do that. If you don't, go back and watch my previous video. You guys will understand it. Um, on the left, we've got we've opened the header.php file of our blocks to WordPress. Um, what was the file that we downloaded from that website the other day? I can't remember the name of it right now. But anyway, that's you, the core bo bare bones file is what you get here. Oh, whoops. And um, this is it here, the header section. So the header section is basically what the navbar will be in and will be on every page in your WordPress site. So it's probably also a good time now, actually, if I show you the page that we're going to be turning in to WordPress. So here it is, uh, very, very straightforward, very, very basic as well. Um, it's literally just, if you see here, it's literally just this pretty much. It's literally just that so yeah it's going to look like this the header section is literally, is literally going to be these two links here and then all of the rest of it will come together the blog post the footer um basically only do one blog post because you can well i'll explain that we don't need, you need to know that but let me just say this is going to turn into wordpress uh believe me you may not look at it now and all the code and stuff but it will do so first of all you want to go into your favorite text editor personally mine's brackets i'm in split view at the moment which is why i like it i know there are other text editors that can do that and um literally what we're just going to do here is take everything from master head here we're just going to go plop all the way down here just get rid of all of it don't need any of it and then, well, I don't think we do. I'm pretty sure we don't. And then, literally, you just want to copy everything from where are we? From all your navigation sections. So, from the navigation block to navigation block end. This site on the right is the index.html file the blocks uh, natively produces. Uh, you can use the comments if you want, it doesn't make any difference. Just copy it all, Command C, and then just paste it in there like that. Next step is simply you just want to find where the nav bar, the where is it nav bar row ends, which is nav sorry nav bar header ends, which is here. Uh, this div here, if you go into brackets, it will give you a highlight, so it tells you which div closes the div. Yeah, uh, I think you guys know what I mean. And then just click enter, create a few lines for yourself, pretty much. Um, now on these lines, we want to open up a new PHP. And of course, we want to close that as well. Yeah. So inside here, uh, I'll crack on with that now. Okay. So now, once you go to, you want to do word wp underscore nav menu here. I think. Yes. Let me double check that. Then want to open it. Go array and then escape this all the way down here close another one behind it like that then do a semicolon and you also want to open up a new one in front of the array like this and then it all makes sense just going to make that bring that up make it look tidier there we go lovely job that looks pretty good well yeah that looks good uh, so you then want to do the first one, which is is theme underscore loca location. You also want to put these in 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 these colons here to make them stand out like that. There you go. to highlight yellow. Uh, you then want to do equals and the right arrow like that, and then open up another one and then put and put primary you don't want to and then put a comma sorry at the end of primary like that you then want to do another one here like so and call this container 
do the same again equals left arrow open up one of these and then do nav then open up another one again and then do container underscore class do equals arrow and then do nav bar nav bar oh whoops nav bar collapse then create space collapse and oh we forgot to put them in colons never mind explains why it's not working <laughs> there you go go yellow create another comma I need one more to do now guys so create another one of these here new class which is equal to nav nav bar nav nav bar right do a comma there and then that's it so what you're going to do now is just bring these up such as here they're going to come up there you go like so looks pretty good yeah what they do is you may think this is a bit interesting here but basically remove navbar collapse and everything in it so click on that and you see it highlights this div so goodbye bang gone there we go make that look good okay so now that's that done you're pretty much done with code now well for this section go open up your page uh, just give it a refresh and then you've got this toggle navigation which doesn't work home navigation page and another one that may or may not appear that's a bit of a weird thing with mine anyway so what you want to do is simply go into blocks go to menus create a brand new menu so you can call it anything so actually we'll call it main menu yeah um, what we'll do now is create something called main menu there you go mate do actually do it in capitals makes it look better main menu and then just click create menu and then you want it to be your primary menu here so now what you want to do is click save menu you can then go on blocks visit site you then have the menu here not sure why this is appearing here no idea why home and about actually yes I do okay, so those two have now gone it's because I didn't save the page now I've saved the page and we deleted we deleted that thing earlier now that's disappeared and they've got toggle navigation and sample page um, and basically any other pages you add will appear here as I'll, I'll now demonstrate so if I go back to blocks go back to dashboard click on pages add new you can call it test and it will automatically be moved to the thing so you can publish so once you've that created that page you come back to themes here uh, no, come back to your menu page actually you can then comes down here test and sample page the sample page has automatically been added but you can turn on auto add pages this will automatically add so whenever you create a new page it'll add it to the top of your menu uh, I'm not going to turn that on but I'm going to add test and add to that to menu then I click save menu then I'm going to go back to visit site here and you'll see test is here it'll open up the page it's actually it's actually just a default page currently that was done by the underscores theme but yeah you can see that this, is, this menu is now dynamic um, you can that's what dynamic means basically WordPress controls it in a way yeah that's all for this video guys converting your static header to a dynamic header using blocks uh, pretty good pretty work quite simple to be honest as just to make sure you keep pausing and playing the video you probably won't memorize uh, what I've just wrote even I haven't memorized what I wrote I could have to pause the recording uh, go back look at it come back start recording do it kept doing that a few times until I finally got this and this is what it should look like in the end so take a good look at it on the left and yeah thank you guys for watching this uh, this episode i'll try and be a bit more frequent in uploading these now I'm not sure why but for some reason i had a few errors last time so i was a bit nervous to upload it don't want to give you guys errors as well but yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and uh yeah see you guys in the next video Bye bye